go guys all right so right now we are just waiting for the rest of the students to connect Hello, Rick. How's it going? Hey, hello. No much, and you? Doing great here. So we're live. That's good. <laughs> Excellent, right. teacher. All right, so Ricky, thank you very much for logging in. Welcome to another class here at the Inglés Corporativo. As you know, my name Thank is you, teacher. How was your day, sir? My, my full name. No, no. How was your day? Oh my, sorry, sorry. Oh man, crazy. Yeah. It was a really crazy day. Man, it's complicated to stay in that place, but it's a good place to to stay. It's, uh, you know, positive situation and negative, but ah, oh, this day was crazy. All right, well, even though it was crazy, I wanna say thank you, because you're here trying to do your best for you. Okay, thank you too, teacher. You too. You're welcome. I'm typing something that I want to share with you. Give me a second. Okay. All right. So this. Now, this is what I typed. A man's got to do what a man's got to do what a man's got to do it. Oh, I'm missing an end right there. So pretty much, Rick, sometimes it's difficult, but you have to do what you have to do when you have to do it. All right, that means pretty much. Yeah. Hay que hacerle. Okay. Right? All Hay right. Que darle con todo. There we go. So, speaking about darle con todo, let's go ahead and rock it. Let's start today's class. Little by little, people just going to be joining us. Okay. All right. So here you can see Lourdes and Ricky. Well, Nidia is here already. Thank you, Nidia. Read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Well, it can be Rick or Nidia, but since it's only the two of you right now, you will okay. have to participate. Lesson objective. By the end of this section, participants will be able to use objective participant will be able to use present and real conditional with unless yeah, only me. if and even if. Yeah, give me just a second. That was yesterday's class. I thought I had it for today. So let's go ahead and change it because I had the incredible. Okay? So 
help me with me help me again. Lesson objective. And read, repeat. Okay, okay. Okay. In these sections, participants will be able to practice and use vocabulary to talk about the ethics. Ethics. All right. So guys, what comes ethics. to your mind when you hear the word ethics? What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear mm, Sounds similar than ethica in Spanish, but I don't know what exactly it means. That's exactly it. It's like the word you said in the Spanish. So, yes. What do you think ethics means? What comes to your mind when you hear ethics? It's the same as ethica in Spanish. It's mm -hmm. like your principles, your values, your your values. Uh, the way you, you act according to your I don't know if it's thinking or thoughts of it could be according so to, to your beliefs, perhaps mm -hmm. to creencias. Mm, not exactly experience, but um uh the the things that are valuable to the society okay mm. makes sense makes sense everything that is um pretty much accepted as good behaviors all right yes. so Let's go ahead and continue. Today we're going to be getting some vocabulary, a little bit of ethics, all right? Just a moment. There we go. Hey, Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hi, are you ready to learn new words? Notice how they change their meaning with some prefixes. Listen to the following words. Then Just a moment, let me, let me go back a little. Listen again and notice how they change in meaning when using a prefix. You may make a chart in your notebook and copy the new word. Acceptable, agreeable, approving, ethical, fair, honest, legal, logical, rational, responsible, scrupulous, trustworthy. unacceptable, disagreeable, disapproving, unethical, unfair, dishonest, illegal, illogical, irrational, irresponsible, unscrupulous, untrustworthy. Use the vocabulary words to answer these questions. Number one, would you ever make an international call from your work to save money? Number two, would you ever play a practical joke on your... All right. So Irresponsible, are... unscrupulous, untrustworthy. Do you have any idea of uh, what a prefix is? Anybody? Can you repeat the two? Sure. Do you have any idea of what a prefix is? No? It's no. a piece of, of, it's not exactly a word, but it's a piece you put uh, before the word to change the meaning. Exactly, exactly. So pretty much guys, um, we're gonna have prefixes, which is, you can see my cursor, right? My little arrow. 
Yeah, you, pueden ver ustedes el, el cursor, ¿verdad? Yes. All right, very good. So, the word oh, yes. is accepted. Okay. So, the prefix is this, un, which will be um. what? Un. Unacceptable. So pretty unacceptable. much it, unacceptable. Exactly. It changes the meaning of the word from acceptable, something good, to unacceptable, something negative. All right. Now, let me ask you a few things, guys. First of all, say with me, acceptable, acceptable, unacceptable, unacceptable. 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 Very good. Um, could you please tell me a couple of uh, actions that for you are unacceptable? Whether at home, at work, I wanted to start sharing your, your answers with me. It is acceptable when you throw the waste in a waste basket. Okay. And it's unacceptable when you throw the waste on the street. On the street, correct. Is is un unacceptable when you lie in your work work. There you go. Exactly. All right. Very good. So I guess that unacceptable is super clear right now, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. good. Say it with me please. Disagreeable. 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 So agreeable is something that you agree with and disagreeable is the opposite okay for example um i don't like to go into politics I'm, I'm telling you right now i'm not asking for any opinion right now to avoid any conflict but what naiv is doing for some people is agreeable and for some people is disagreeable agreeable disagreeable yes exactly. so um Tell me something that is disagreeable between you and your couple or between you and your boss. I'm disagreeable. No, is, mm. is, is, is. It, is, it, is it disagreeable mm -hmm. um, when, when my boss, um, when my boss talks with me with with bad words or... with full language tell me that'll be full language full language mm -hmm. with full language okay very good that's good because you don't know thank great. you thank you for for the new word you're welcome that's what i'm here for to help you out all right the next one disapproving disapproving Mm -hmm. Everybody say it with me so I can check your pronunciation. Disapproving. Disapproving. All right. Who can give me an example of something disapproving? My mother disapproving my behavior when I I don't care my words or, or my behavior. When you don't take care of your behavior. Yes. All right. Very good. In this one, guys, we're going to play a little bit with the words. It's not actually my mother disapproving, it's my mother disapproves, because we are using it as a verb, okay? Oh, okay, okay? Now, unacceptable, inacceptable, right? Disagreeable? Desagradable. Um, no, no, es, no estar de acuerdo. No estar de acuerdo, right? Disapproving? No aprobar. No aprobar o desaprobar. So, Disapproving, we can use it, for example, um, we, obviously, with ing, we can use it as a verb, an action happening, but something disapproving is an action that you do not approve. Okay, so tell me disapproving actions. Let's call it that way. Disapproving actions. For me, it's disapproving that you help more to animals than uh orphan children okay okay all right very good now everybody's animal lover right now what do you think about that is that disapproving to you or or you approve it 
I approve animal love. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you very much. Let's go with the next one. So I'm going to, guys, I have a couple of questions for you that I consider you will find interesting. But before we go to those questions, let's try to do this quick with the vocabulary so we can dedicate ourselves to talk. All right. Unethical or unethical. It's up to you, either or. Unethical. Mm -hmm. Unethical. Unethical. Either or. Unethical. Tell me some unethical behavior at work. It's unethical when you are cooking the books. When you're cooking the books? Yes. Cooking the books is it's like when you light your in your uh, contabilidad. How do you say contabilidad? Accounting. Ah, okay. An accounting. Es como cuando tú estás arreglando tus, tus, tus libros. Ok. Makeup. Yes, or a makeup, but it is, is an um, um, uh, idiom in, in business is common. Ok, thank you very much. This one, to be honest with you, is totally new to me. I have heard crack the book. That is when you start studying. Crack or crack the books. But cooking the books is when you're fixing numbers. That's good. I like it. Thank you very much. You see, I learn from you. You learn from me. Vice versa. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good example. Guys, something else that is unethical? Something quick? It's unethical when a policeman asks you for a mordida. Right. Ah. Right. Right. Uh -huh. How do you say suborno? Bribery. Bribe. Br bribery. Bribe is, you can use it, sobornar, right? It's a bribe. Suborno. He's trying to bribe me off or to buy me off. Buy. 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 Buy me off. Buy like. Buy me off. Buy someone off. He okay. is trying to buy him off. The, buy the, someone the, off. The person, let's say Fernando, uh, um, made up name. Fernando is trying to buy off or buy the policeman off. So it's also sober not. All right. Next one, guys. Unfair. Say with me. Unfair. Unfair. All right. With the pronunciation of this one, be careful because it's not on. You don't do this. You say, uh, uh, with the schwa. Unfair. 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 Which is the opposite of fair. Tell me something unfair. A young person sitting on a on a well on a bus. not sharing the seat with an elderly person. To me that's unfair. Yes. Which of course is not an obligation, right? It's just behavior. Tell me something else that is unfair. I think it's unfair the work the women and men have in a marriage because women have more work than men. More work and what and elaborate a little bit more. <gasps> Cooking, uh, uh, take care of the kids, wash everything and men almost nothing. Okay, all right, that sounds totally okay. Very good. Good participation, Iria. Thank you. Next one. Dishonest. 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 The opposite of honest, right? Give me an example dishonest. of dishonest behavior. Dishonest when you lie. When you lie. When you lie. When you, lie. When you cook the books. When you cook the books. <laughs> when you don't pay your tax when you don't pay taxes right okay very good i think we have it clear thank you very much next one so we can continue let me put it here illegal illegal, illegal. Say with me. illegal. 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 something illegal an example it's illegal to sell cocaine <laughs> it is super illegal <laughs> good job good job so we have a lot of illegal things in, in laundry money. Money laundry. 
Switch it. Money laundering. Uh -huh. money, money laundering. Money laundering. That is pretty much, you know. Where's, where's the money? There you go. Exactly. But it's the, the legal term or the normal term is money laundering. Next one, illogical. Say it with me, please. Illogical. 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 Uh -huh. illogical. Something illogical, irrational. It's illogic when you when you make the same when you make when you make when you make things with the with the same way of different soul. All right, let, let me see if I understood. Pretty much you're saying that it's illogical to do the same thing over and over again. And, and you make the same the same thing have different results. Got it. That's the definition of, of craziness. Yeah. Correct. Good job. Next one, irrational. Say with me, please. Irrational. 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 Uh -huh. a definite or an example of something irrational do you think that something irrational in the name is it irrational the is irrational spend your your wish in in games or dress okay could you please explain to to the group what is the meaning of wage Salary or payroll, or like a payroll. Mm -hmm. exactly. Salary. Salario, salario mínimo. Yeah. Minimum wage. How do you say salary mínimo, guys? Minimum wage. Minimum wage. Next one, super quick, irresponsible. Anybody else? Because I think many of, many, of, many of the men sin because they aren't responsible of the children of the son of them. Minimum wage. Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Many, uh, many men are irresponsible. I totally agree. Next one, unscrupulous. Irresponsible. Unscrupulous. Uh -huh, an example of something unscrupulous. I think people who is in charge of taking care or educate children Educated are in scribbles when they abuse of them, them. the I children. Yeah. Okay, totally agree. Unscrupulous. Also, the guy who parked on top of a dog. Did you pay attention to that one? Mm -hmm. A guy killed a dog. He parked his pickup right on top of the dog's body. Mm -hmm. Unscrupulous. All right, very good. Next one, untrustworthy. 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 What is the meaning of that? Untrustworthy. Someone that we can trust in it, in it, in it. In him. Ah, uh, that we can. Untrust. <laughs> That we can trust him. The vocabulary or, words okay. to answer these so questions. Give me an example Num of something untrustworthy. Something or someone. 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 Someone is. Use the vocabulary. Untrustworthy. Vocabulary words to answer these questions. What pronunciation, teacher? Untrustworthy. Untrustworthy. Or untrustworthy. 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 Teacher, is there uh, any rule that say we, we have to uh, use any prefix on or this or is? Now, 
to be honest with you, I have actually asked myself the same question. I haven't been able to find any rule yet, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to try to look for it because I've been looking for it for a while now, but uh, I haven't been able to find anything logical, a pattern. Perhaps I haven't been looking in the right places. All right, guys. So right now, <laughs> we already have a couple of vocabulary. So just go ahead and repeat it with me. Unacceptable. 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 Disagreeable. 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 Right, give me just a second. I love the page. Let me get it back. Disapproving. 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 Unethical. 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 unethical or unethical because of, because of the th up to you unethical, unethical. unethical. Mm -hmm. unfair unfair, unfair. unfair. Dishonest. dishonest dishonest illegal illegal, illegal. illogical illogical, illogical. Irrational. 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 irrational irrational irresponsible irresponsible, irresponsible. unscrupulous Unscrupulous. Untrustworthy. Untrustworthy. All right, guys. So I consider that we already have good vocabulary in order for us to talk about ethics. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next is that we're going to open the break room. And I wanted to use, um, I wanted to try and do your best answering the questions. Okay, you know the drill. We're gonna be working um, pretty much in a two minutes and thirty second round. In these two minutes and thirty seconds, I want everybody to express their opinion. I wanted to have conversations. Then we go back. One person is gonna is gonna share the answer with the whole class, and then we go back to another question. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any question? What is the question? Can you repeat? Uh, the instruction teacher please sure um we're gonna be i'm gonna ask you a question then you're gonna go to the breakout rooms and you will discuss the question for two minutes and 30 seconds okay thank you after thank you very much. we come back one person is going to share with the whole class and then we go with another question so we can practice our speaking skills okay okay, okay. first bomb do you consider yourself to be an ethical person? Mm. Now, recommendation. I'm ethical. Aha, uh -huh. that's exactly what I wanted to share. But you're going to say, why? Okay. okay. You're going to express how. Okay, what, who. Try to use the WH questions, what time. When try to use the WH questions in order for you to express more, to give out more information, okay? Okay. All right. So, do you consider, if you ask me, ask me please, do you consider yourself to be an ethical person? Do you consider, you consider yourself, yourself to be an ethical, to be an ethical person? person? Yes, guys. I consider myself to be an ethical person because I always try to do what's right. No matter what, I try to be correct. I try to follow the rules. I try to follow um, what is acceptable, you know, as far as work, my family, as far as my behavior. What time? Every single time. Sometimes I get in trouble with people because they ask me things that I don't do because it's ethical. All right? So that's my personal opinion about it. Now let's go to the break at home and carry yours, all right? Let's go. I accept it today, please. Invite sent, two minutes, 30 seconds. If the rules are not fair, because sometimes uh, the rules are not fair, but I am afraid of, of to be unethical. Okay. And you, Julia? Well, I think I am uh, an ethical person too. 
because I try to do uh, the things in rules, I think. And I, I try to follow all rules in all of the areas in my life, I think. And I think it's better because you eliminate a lot of problems of your life. And then I am considered an, an ethical person. And what about you, Nidhi? I think I'm an ethical person. I think anybody will say I'm not ethical or oh, I am an ethical person. No one. No I one. think I am, I am ethical because as you, I try to follow rules. I don't want to be in the newspaper as a, as a felon. And my job requires that I, I comply. Comply yeah. with, correct. Comply um, laws and, and a lot of, um, I don't have to say normativa or rules, rules and regulations. Rules, rules. okay, regulations. So uh, I try to go in the right way. So I ha I think I am an ethical person. Okay, all right, very good. Did the three of you have the chance to participate? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. All right. And we good. also are ethical person because we pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. On, on time, on time. It's sad, but we do. <laughs> okay, very good. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, you know, I'm, I'm trying to fix a few things right there, but I, I try to do it always on time. All right, guys, let's go back to the main room. Okay. All right, let's bring everybody back. Thank you, Lourdes, for being here already. All right, so guys, I need a volunteer, please, in order to answer that question to the whole group. Anybody? About the, about the uh, question. Yes, do you yeah. consider yourself an ethical person? As far as, as uh, I concern. I try always to to be an ethical person, respect the rules, and try to to follow instruction. Um, I always try to to keep a good relationship with all person, but it's others. it's not it, with all person. It's it's really complicated, but I always try. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you very much for your answer, sir. Now, the only recommendation I'll give you is for you to use um, adverbs of frequency. Because you say always I, and we gotta say I always. Okay. Always I. Like the, the opposite. Now, I'm gonna type a couple of examples here in the group. I always try to do my best. So if you notice, always is gonna be between the subject and the verb. Okay. okay. Always. No. I always. I always. There are, these are adverbs of frequency. Give me examples of adverbs of frequency, please. Always is 100%. Never is 0%. Give me something in between. Sometimes. Sometimes. Good. What else? Usualmente. Usually. 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 Often. Usually. Casi nunca. Often. Almost. Often, almost never, exactly. Never. With this one, guys, there are some adverbs of frequency that can go before the subject. Frequently? Frequently, yep. There are some adverbs of frequency that can go before the, sub the subject, like, for example, sometimes I try to do my best. You can also use usually, but if you want to be on the safe side, these are exceptions. If you want to be on the safe side, Always use it between the subject and the verb. I always try, I never try, I sometimes try. If you don't wanna 
you have two options. Either you memorize the ones that can go before, or you play safe. Play safe. lo seguro. You play smart, right? Play safe. And you play safe. Mm -hmm. Play safe. All right. Play okay. safe. A lo seguro. A lo seguro. Exactly. You want to play safe? Do it between the subject and the verb. All right. Now, I play safe. let's go ahead and uh, answer the following question. And this question, guys, remember, we are not here to judge anybody. We are here to practice English and express our ideas. So, no judgments, please. Next question. Would you risk your life to save another person? Yes, I, I I do. I would. I, yes, I would. If if the life of my my mother or my son or my wife is in danger. Okay, very good. Thank you. Have you ever heard the expression "you shoot yourself on the foot"? No, I don't. So now you have to shoot yourself on the foot. Dispararse en el pie. When you try to do something good, but you end up damaging yourself. Shoot yourself. Shoot yourself on the foot. Uh -huh. So I shot myself on the foot. I shot yourself on your. What is the meaning of that? What it means? It means you try to do something good, but instead of doing something good, you did something bad to yourself. Ah. For example, there was a time, guys, that I was, a girl was trying to chase her little dog, right? On the street. And I tried to help the lady by catching the dog. But the dog, when the dog saw me, it tried to cross the street and a car ran over the dog, right? <laughs> I, I was trying to help, but unfortunately, something bad happened, right? So I shot myself on the foot. I made a mistake for trying to help. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the, the, uh -huh. the, the, I shot, I shot myself. My, Myself on the foot, me disparé en el pie. Okay, if I want to say you, sh you shot yourself in your foot on the foot, correct? On the foot, on the, on the foot, you shoot yourself on the foot, exactly. So, for example, okay. guys, if you ask me, would you risk your life to try to save another person? It depends on the situation and it depends on the person. For example, if someone is uh, is trying to kill someone, goodbye. I'm not going to get into that because <laughs> I don't know why that's happening and I can get killed. My family can suffer, right? So, but for example, if I can save my, my relatives, my, my girlfriend, which is my soon-to-be wife, my family, I would definitely try to do it. Otherwise, I tried that I, I think that I would pass. I would pass. I will pass. So, try to give your opinion, guys. Would you risk your life to save another person? Break rooms, two minutes. Please accept the invite. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Go. All right, Rodrigo already accepted. Let's go ahead and accept everybody, please. Julia, Nidia, there you go, there you go. And Rick, you're the last one. Good. All right, so please give your opinion, guys. Hello. Rodrigo, Ricardo, and Maribel, it's your hello, turn. Hello, hello, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, hello, Maribel. Hi, hi. In my case, I, re I could risk my life for my mom and my son and, and daughter only. Uh 
in my case, I would risk my life for my family, for my wife, my son, my mother. But have you ever, have you ever had the, the a situation that you had to, to risk your life for them? Yes, I did. I did. Explain us, please. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, ten years ago. Ten years ago, I I was in a in a situation with my family, and I I I I uh, for the sake of my mother, my mother, and it's very difficult to explain, but but I didn't. I did. I did. I, I, I don't have fear. I'm not afraid. No. Brave. 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 I, I think it's a complicated question, but for my daughter, for example, I I will take the risk for my daughter, my mom, or my wife. This this is a really uh, crazy country, you know, gang, gang members. And I, I always think in an extreme situation, I always take the risk and I always protect my family. Yeah. All right, very good, guys. So, uh, listen up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room, all right? Okay. All right. All right, guys. So, thank you very much for coming back. As you notice, I'm going one participation with one group, the other one with the other group, all right? So, don't think that I abandon you. I need a volunteer to answer this question, please. Maribel, I didn't hear you in the group, so this is a good chance for you to answer the question. <laughs> yes, exactly. Teacher, why? Come on, unmute it and answer the question, please. <laughs> okay, I think I could risk my life only for my mom, daughter, and son, but I don't remember the a situation that I that I gave my life for them, only my my work and my my uh, dream. Uh, I sa I've sacrificed my my healthy my health my health. Uh -huh, my health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, very good. Thank you very much for sharing. Now we have another question, guys. What are some ethical dilemmas you have faced? Say with me, please. What are some ethical dilemmas you have faced? Well, Read it with me, please. Uh, what are some ethical dilemmas you have faced? What are some ethical dilemmas you have faced? Uh huh. Very good. So, if you ask me, guys, one dilemma I have is between being a good person or not because my, my parents have actually taught me to be a good person. But sometimes when you're a good person, people abuse, you know, and you end up losing. You end up losing friends, you end up losing uh, job opportunities, you end up losing a lot. So I, I always try to be fair, justo. I always try to be fair, try to be a good person. But if someone is trying to mess with me, to mess with my job, to mess with my money, I'm not a good person I defend myself okay so that's my point of view I want to hear your point of view break rooms two minutes 30 well you know what I'm gonna give you three minutes because we are three people 
try to calculate one minute each, okay? Accept the invite, please. What are some ethical dilemmas you have faced? Go. There we go. You have faced. Robert, you're new in the group, so tell us. Welcome. <laughs> Well, some of the ethical dilemmas that I, that I have faced on the past will be... In the past. Well, I, well in the, yes, in the past, I mean, just like a few years ago. I have been in really complicated situations. As an example, well, how do I say this? I have always been having issues since I will have to face to my to my customers when an issue happens or when an equipment that I am supposed to deliver it's delayed even though that I don't have the responsibility for being in contact with with that equipment or with the with the order where with the order process or with the order management process but since I'm the salesman, unfortunately, the the customer who knows me is always asking me, asking me about equipment, about the situations, about what is happening, why it's the delay. So that's one of the things that I have. And you might probably be, be wondering why it's not ethical. For me, it's not ethical because I have to answer for a job that I have not, uh, that I doesn't have done. I mean, that I haven't done. I, that I haven't done. For a job that the people for from from the order management department has been doing during all the time or during the, 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 the order management time. And for me, it's not ethical because I don't, I don't have responsibility for that. It's, the, it's their responsibility, but I, in front of my customer, I have to assume that responsibility, unfortunately. There you go. Fantastic participation, sir. Good job. All right. Thank you. Another one. We have Julia Lourdes and Nidia, so you can participate. You got only a few seconds. Okay. Okay. I have a, I had a dilemma maybe five years ago also. Okay. And my work, I knew it that a co-worker was making some dark business, but he had a lot of um, uh, economic problems with him. So I know it, he needs, desperately the money so he start desperately the money so he start to make some dark business and and i was like uh, with that dilemma if i had to say something to my boss or just <laughs> to to be quiet <laughs> mm -hmm. so at the end Mm -hmm. uh, my co-worker was discovered, not by me, but for another person, and that was the story. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you very much. So, um, let's go back to the main room. All right. Thank you very much for your presentation. Okay. okay. Hello. All right. There we go. I was talking to myself. <laughs> All right, guys. So, hello, hello. Hello, we can hear you. Now, I need a volunteer. Okay. Before we finish up the participation. Okay, about the ethical dilemma. Yes. Okay, um, 
I was thinking about uh, Civil War, Salvadorian Civil War, for example. You are in the guerrilla and I am in uh, fires. Kill to live because you are my enemy. That, for me, it's a very complicated dilemma, ethical dilemma. Because we are brothers and we and both are Salvadorians. But you are my enemy and I your enemy. Kill to live. Suppose that. Yep. It's complicated, but I think that's a historic, historic moment. And you should try to act according to according that that historic moment. Okay. Yep. I totally agree that that's a very very big dilemma. I totally understand. All right. So, do you guys agree on that dilemma? Uh, for me, um, a dilemma, an ethical dilemma, is the uh, euthanasia. Okay, euthanasia. All right, euthanasia, because um, a patient has um, a lot of pain, and in is it very it's very difficult prefer uh, to die in in a hospital or or living with with pain with pain it's very difficult okay good i agree um, euthanasia is a uh, a big dilemma also assisted suicide Assisted suicide is another big dilemma. Uh, death penalty, for example, it's a dilemma. But yes. All right, guys. So I know that these are very difficult topics, and that's why I love them, because you have to give your opinion. You are being forced to express and to get out of your comfort zone in another language. That's the beautiful thing about this, guys. I appreciate your professionalism um, in this matter as far as answering these type of difficult questions. So that, that'll be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank I you very much. I all tomorrow always on time because I logged in at 8.02 so I can get so I could give you time and there was nobody here. So don't leave me hanging, okay? <laughs> so I don't log <laughs> in on time. All right, okay. Guys. This is I agree with you. Thank you. Nice evening. My name is Alejandro. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.